Now, one of the main reasons for President Moon's trip to Turkmenistan is to boost economic ties with that Central Asian nation, particularly, uh, as we just heard there, in the energy sector. South Korea is already actively participating in the construction of power plants in that country. Our Parky Jun has this report. South Korea's trade volume with Turkmenistan is relatively low but has great potential for growth. Main exports to Turkmenistan include automobiles, metal goods and IT devices, while imports center on textiles. But the most promising growth comes from the energy sector. The value of construction orders received for energy plants amounts to a total of 10 billion U.S. dollars as of this month. South Korean companies earn the Central Asian country's trust by successfully building numerous energy plants contributing to the Turkmen economy. Global consortiums led by Korean firms completed a natural gas processing plant in Gaokanish and a petrochemical plant in Kianli. The Kianli plant alone is expected to generate an annual profit of $600 million for the Turkmenistan government. And with the leaders of South Korea and Turkmenistan having agreed to push for further cooperation in the area, it's anticipated that President Moon Jae-in's visit this week will create momentum for landing further deals on energy projects. Turkmenistan also boasts the world's fourth largest supply of natural gas, making up to 10 percent of global reserves. South Korea hopes to boost cooperation in developing resources in its efforts to diversify industries. And with the two countries having signed MOUs during their bilateral summits, economic cooperation is also expected to advance in other sectors, such as transportation, logistics, ICT, healthcare, and sports. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.